My name is John Cannon from Chagask and we're here today to show the correct uh, techniques to use when dipping sheep and in the disposal of the, the spent sheep dip afterwards. Now sheep dipping is a very important practice for sheep farmers because it's a way of controlling external parasites with one product. I also want to draw your attention to the health and safety aspects of sheep dipping. It's very important for farmers to have the correct facilities and to use the correct correct uh, protective equipment and clothing and when the dip has been disposed of afterwards there is done in the correct way and land spread diluted to three is to one with water or slurry. My name is Sean Gallina, I'm the catchment uh, officer of the Finn for the catchment care project uh, which includes the Donegal County Council and Lax Agency among other partners. As part of the Catchment Care Programme, we are investigating pesticides, particularly their effect on the water quality of the fin. The pesticide has the potential to harm aquatic life if it gets directly into the river. There are two main types of pesticide uh, that are used in sheep dipping products. Um, one is cypermethrin and the other is organophosphates or OP. Cypermethrin will be used in products such as Cyperguard, whereas OP would be used in products such as Diazinon. The two chemicals work similarly on insects in the river. Um, generally, they disrupt the ner nerve systems of the insects, causing paralysis, which leads to starvation after a while. Now, the bugs that are present, or the pests rather, that are present on sheep are in the same macroinvertebrate family as the bugs that are present in the river. So the pesticide basically has the exact same impact on both of them. That there has to be taken into account. If the pesticide gets into the river, it will kill the local macroinvertebrate population just as readily as it will kill the pests on the sheep itself. The macrovertebrates in the river are very important because they uh, provide a ecological function. Um, they shred leaves in the river, um, they make bacteria available to fish for, uh, in, by consuming it and making that energy available up the food chain. So if they die off, that takes away the food for fish in the river and has a knock-on effect um, to animals that feed on fish as well. When you're starting to dip sheep, starting with a unit like we have here today, you start with a clean bat and clean water. That's the first principle. Clean out the bat and start with clean water. Measure the bat so you know the bat size. You can't dilute the dip without knowing how much chemical to add to it. So measure the bat and use the appropriate amount of dip as specified on the label. You have to wear protective clothing to protect yourself from the hazards of the chemicals. So again, follow the label directions in that line. We're dipping here today with gold fleece, dozen and sheep dip. We're using a thousand litre bat and we've started at a thousand litres with 660 mils of gold fleece sheep dip. When mixing the dip, do not add any other chemicals or colorants or other foreign bodies to the dip wash. They can have a, a detrimental effect on the quality of the dipping. Collect up the sheep, take them to the bat, allow them to rest beforehand. Allow a couple of hours beforehand for the sheep to empty out. Makes it easier for the sheep to swim in the bat. Remove excessive dagging so as to reduce the dirtying of the, the bat. Again, don't overload the bat. We, we're using a thousand litre bat today, a round bat, which has plenty of room for three sheep to swim around. So plunge, plunge the head under twice and ensure that the sheep's back is pushed down under the water. Sheep float in the water, so ensure that they're, they're well soaked down into the water. Allow 60 seconds for the dipping. That's a full minute. It's a long time to be standing over and there's plenty of time to duck the head under in that time. But the sheep need that time to allow the wash to get into the skin where the parasites are. And you're talking about skin-borne parasites, uh, lice, ticks, keds, and sheep scab, and of course, blowflies and blowfly strike on the wool itself. Release the sheep to the draining area and allow the sheep to drain off back into the bat. The sheep remove a considerable amount of dip from the bat, and this must be let run back into the bat. The sheep shouldn't be released from the draining area until they have visibly stopped running dripping dip onto the floor. When the sheep have sufficiently drained, release them to an open field without 
access to drains, streams or fords to avoid contamination of streams and waterways. Do not shear the sheep within three months of dipping and if you're handling the sheep for some weeks after dipping always use protective uh, clothing. After every 36 sheep have been dipped the bat must be topped up or replenished of water and you add 180 mils or three squirts of the applicator, three by 60 mil squirts of the applicator to the bat to restore the chemical to their original strength. The sheep strip active ingredient out of the water, it clings to the wool and weakens the bat. So it's crucially important that replenishment or topping up is carried out correctly as per the directions on the label. One sheep per two litres of capacity of the bat the bat must be emptied and refilled. What that means is, in a 1,000 litre bat that we're working in today, the maximum number of sheep that should be put through is 500 sheep. At that point, empty the bat and fill with, wash out, fill with clean water and start again. If for any reason dipping is interrupted or you have more sheep that, that need to be dipped, do not keep the dip wash in the tank overnight. You must empty the tank at the end of the day's dipping and start afresh with a new solution the following day. There's a, a huge risk of post-dipping lameness in dirty bats or bats held overnight and the only way to avoid that is to start with a fresh mix. Do not dose or drench the sheep with levamisole containing products as there is a risk of toxicity for 14 days before or after dipping. Allow the sheep to dry before transporting. At the end of the day's dipping, it's important to cover your tank to avoid the risk of accidents on the farm, and also to wash your hands and remove all contaminated clothing and rinse off. After that, we need to dispose of the dip properly the following dipping. The first thing is to rinse out the used containers three times and dispose of the, the rinsings in the dip bat. To dispose of the spent dip, it should be land spread at a maximum of 450 gallons per acre. To get to that low rate, the dip wash should be diluted at a rate of three to one with water or slurry. Here, we're pumping the waste wash into the slurry tank for land spreading later. It's advised that uh, spent dip is added to a slurry tank because the slurry tank has a large mic microbial or bacterial population and the pesticide is broken down by bacterial action. Furthermore, once the slurry is spread onto the land, UV light from the sun will also help break down the pesticide and the pesticide will also bind with soil particles, rendering it inactive. That's why this is very important that spent dip uh, mixed with the slurry is spread on land away from watercourses so that sufficient time can pass where it can be deactivated by natural processes. Hi, my name is Phelan Malloy, Chairman of the Broca branch of the Irish Nature and Health Farmers Association. And just uh, like to um, thank uh, the local authority in Chugask for organising this uh, demonstration here today. Hopefully that the farmers in the area will benefit from this. I know that there's a video being produced and we will actually assist with the uh, distribution of that video if need be so that the full benefits of the demonstration and the um, procedures that have to be carried out in order to dip sheep properly and to dispose of the dip will actually be worked through. Obviously the concern in relation to pollution as a major issue and we, we would see this as being a very very beneficial exercise and we would look forward to working with the local authorities and anybody else is interested in devising systems to prevent pollution in the future. Thank you very much. Donegal County Council on behalf of the Catchment Care Project have developed an info sheet uh, on the proper disposal of sheep dipping products and uh, this is available uh, if you visit the Catchment Care website or uh, email myself, Sean Gellina, or Fidelma Maher of the Donegal County Council, and we will email you a PDF of it. Uh, our officers will also be in the Finn on a regular basis, and if you meet us in person and request a sheet, we will send it out to you.